All right, so I did my whole face, or I did my whole face, my whole body, and everything with that solution. Now I'm going to show you how much I use. So you don't really use very much of the solution. So you'll have this for a really long time. Um, you know, a couple, I'll have it for about four months until I run out of it because I do it just once a week. And you don't want to do it too often. You can do it every couple of days or so. And it also depends on how old you are because the older you are, the more toxins and the more crystals you've accumulated underneath your skin. So when you start to do this, you want to kind of go lighter. The older you are, you want to go lighter. And just kind of feel it out and see where you're at because um, you can cause a lot of problems and you'll end up going to the hospital because you'll bust your, uh, your veins and stuff like that. Um, because they're they're too hard and you have know, like varicose veins and things like that when you start to get older um, you'll bust them open because they're, they're so they're so uh, calcified and everything and that's one thing that you don't want to do so the younger you are the easier it's gonna be but then when you're older you just gotta kinda work your way into it and see where you're at but um, besides that we're going to put the let me put the cap on this we're gonna put the magnesium oil all over our skin. This is awesome magnesium oil. You can get this on Dr. Kassar's website, David Wolf's website, rawfoodworld.com. Um, anywhere really has great uh, magnesium uh, magnesium uh, chloride. You want magnesium chloride. You don't want the other one. I can't remember what the other one is, but um, yeah, this is the one that you want because it works better. All right, and the way you want to use it is. I'm going to do this all over my body too, but you want to get some good friction on it and you want to really, really rub it in until it starts to stick and you'll feel it start to stick and it's really difficult to put on. That's when it starts to really go in your skin. It's not going to just go directly in your skin just by putting it on, so you got to really rub it in like that. And you're going to do this all over your body. I just like to put it directly on. And then I'll get the friction going just from rubbing it like this. And there we go. It starts to stick. When it starts to stick, you know it's going in. And you're just going to do this all over. And you can do this in any order you like. It doesn't really matter as long as you get this stuff on there. As long as you clean your skin first, I like to clean my skin and do the the um, fulvic acid kind of at the same time. Um, I've got some fulvic acid on the way, so next time I'll just add actual fulvic acid drops into the whole thing. That way, um, I'm not using up my shilajit for that. I'm gonna do it on my my head too. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys what comes out of my scalp. And this isn't just my scalp. Remember, this is you too. <laughs> I'm only 22. And if you're older than 22 and you've been on the standard American diet, you're gonna have a lot of stuff coming out of you. Even not even even if you're not on the standard American diet, and even if you've grown up most of your life on a really clean diet you're still gonna have a lot of toxins coming out and that's simply just because we live in a toxic world and we can't really get away from it see I'm just really rubbing it in I've got short hair right now so it's a lot easier for me to do my scalp but anyone who's um, anyone who's balding or anything like that this is really great it'll open up those pores Especially if you actually do the gua sha on your your scalp. So I've got like a receding kind of hairline going right here. And after the, fir the first couple times of doing this, I've noticed it's starting to grow in. And I was like, wow, that's really weird. Because it's never happened like that. It, you know, normally it goes backwards, not forwards. Okay. Do my whole face, my neck. All right, I'm gonna finish off my body and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add 
um, some coconut oil. I'm almost out of this jar, but I've got a whole gallon to refill this one, so we're good. But now I'm just going to add coconut oil to my whole body. And whew, it just melts right away. I'm going to start putting this on. It goes everywhere. It spreads everywhere. You barely need any. Spread it all over my hair. All over my face. I want it to go everywhere. Around my ears, because I'm going to go wash out around my ears. Around my neck. You don't need very much to go around your whole body. Maybe like a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons, big tablespoons full, and it'll go everywhere. This stuff spreads like crazy. As soon as it touches your skin, it starts to melt. It melts at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a good kind of a temperature gauge of your house, which is pretty cool. I don't actually have a temperature gauge in here, so this kind of lets me know if it's cooler than 76 or if it's warmer than 76 in my room. kind of cool to know. It's kind of cool the way that you know. Alright, so I'm going to finish up on my whole body on this and then I will show you guys how to gua sha and I'll show you what comes out of your skin. It's not very pretty. I'll be right back. Alright, so now that you've applied all of those, you're going to see what comes out of your skin. Now I'm going to do my head first. I'm going to angle this so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you what comes out of your what comes out of your skin. Now you're going to want to do this like at a 90 degree angle. You want to just scrape with the edge of your spoon. And as you see, it's starting to come out. A little bit difficult to do. You can see a little bit of stuff starting to come out right there. It's a little bit difficult to do in the camera because you can't really see very well. Alright, there's a bunch of nasty stuff on the spoon right there, as you can see. It's like a brown stuff. It's actually more kind of green. Looks like it's pretty clean up here right now, so far. Alright, I'm going to show you my arm. I'm going to do my arm. It's a lot easier for me to do. Let me set the camera up so I can see it. Alright, you're just going to put it like at a 90 degree. And there you go. See all that coming out right there? See all that nastiness coming out? I just did like two scrapes. And you see your skin just turns totally red. You see that right there? All that gooping up. And the texture of that stuff that's coming out is like um it's a little bit liquidy but it's like a plastic almost it's really gross and that's what's coming out of your lymphatic system all those plasticizers and everything that we've been using throughout our lives all that stuff is coming out It's a lot easier when you have a partner to help you out with the hard to reach places. Yeah, this stuff, oh, it's like, uh, it's just dripping down my arm. It's really nasty. And you see how red my skin is now. That's just all my pores opened up and you can feel it. Your skin just breathing, it feels really nice. It feels really amazing. Okay, 